Animals. They're everywhere. You see them in the streets and in the hills, with their daft wee legs and their pointless tails. Tales about animals are everywhere in our newspapers these days, so much so that it is difficult sometimes to find an item about humans. This week, we had the Boxing Day hunts, or faux hunts at least, where severe looking people and their torn faced hounds are pictured bouncing or scurrying along lanes, bringing entirely justifiable terror to the countryside. Many sensitive people find such pictures disturbing. They think the horse riders look insufferably pompous, which is undoubtedly unfair, if entirely understandable. It's a good rule to guide you through life, never trust anyone on a horse. Far-right activist Hermann Goring believed it taught the rider mastery over another human being, which was a bit odd as most people looked down on him as a fat turd. All the same, to be up there, master of all you survey, might be accounted marvellous by anyone who doesn't think he looks a perfect fright in a prissy wee protective hat and a tweed jacket that fails to cover the lower buttocks. Sadly, having failed to evolve, the onward march of civilization has left the fox manglers on the brink of extinction, with almost all decent ratepayers in opinion polls welcoming their demise. Such a shame. Human beings can be so cruel sometimes. Speaking of ratepayers, decent or otherwise, and foxes, which are largely exempt from rates, a clash between these took place in rural London this week. In a case that the RSPCA is investigating, an alleged human, Jolly and Morm, battered an alleged fox to death with a baseball bat while wearing a kimono, the human not the fox. To be clear, the kimono belonged to the man's wife. It was made of silk. The man is himself a silk or QC, a remain obsessed barrister opposed to beastly migrants entering his garden illegally. To be fair, he thought the fox was after his chickens, you townies just don't understand the reality of country life in London. And anyway, most of you will have done something similar over the festive season, though few would be so imprudent as to publicize the achievement on social media. I think it's fair to say that many earthlings get a bit soppy when it comes to animals. I've seen YouTube videos where people recount terrible things that have happened to them and, in the comments below, people say, but was the cat all right? These beasties are often referred to as fur babies and videos of them when young get hundreds of thousands of views, even though, while other animals do genuinely seem to be playing, the average kitten's every move mimics pouncing, slashing, eviscerating and killing. All together now, or. But I must admit I'm as soft and goo goo -ga, ga as the next grown man when it comes to baby animals. And my attitude to cats is the same for more on this story, visit the news article link.